to the right on second and ten. McSorley looks back to his left, and he'll be sacked right away by Chase Winovich, the Pennsylvania native. Defense, he's right here. He's just going to fight through the right tackle right. The guard comes over just to kind of use the leg to try to hold him out. But Winovich has had a hard time sleeping this week. He is so <laughs> excited. Michigan brings pressure again. McSorley sacked by Josh Uche. And it's three and out. Should have blitzing, but they don't have to because of speedsters like this. Uche, 6'3", about 240, has come on and on this year. Anderson often look up. Black not in the game. Higdon's got it again, and he's got room. And come on, Higdon banged down after a first down gain. Garrett Taylor, nice to see him back, was set out the first half of the last game. Higdon off and running into the secondary. Nothing deep in the Penn State territory as Scott finally runs him down at the 15. The linebacker play on the, on the outside here and here. Watch the guards get up. Nice job. Away new gets up there. There's nobody left. The safeties are late getting down. Donovan Peoples-Jones actually picks up Garrett Taylor in Michigan, asserting themselves at the line of scrimmage here on the very first drive. Anderson keeps it in, waltzes in. Michigan strikes first. It's it through. So Karan Higdon's 50-yard scamper, key on the drive. And Shea Patterson takes it the final few yards to the end zone. And claps down on the inside run. Shea Patterson for the second time on this drive. Slot. Motion tight end gentry to the left side, and he gets the pass. And he's got some space. Knocked out there by Koa Fa Play action fake, and Patterson takes a peek downfield, and it takes a shot, and Nico Collins comes back to make the catch. And on your screen right here, the fact that he does not get deep enough allows him on first and ten play action. You gotta love the call and see how Ford's late in getting there. The ball just a little bit underthrown because Nico Collins went right by the secondary and exposed Metellus against Hamler. Fumble. Sanders in the exchange. Winovich has got the football. He's down on the ball, and Trace is looking out here on this edge. He wants to pull it out, but he can't get his hands on the football. And that wall of tight ends in there. And Mason barrels for a first down. Patterson flushed. Looks to the end zone. Touchdown, Donovan Peoples Jones. Well, this is a great throw, a big time effort here by the Michigan offense to get this in the end zone. And they took advantage of a miscue by the Penn State defense. They had two defenders in the flat. Instead of getting one of the defensive backs deep to John Reed, watch out here in the flat to the right side. You have two defenders right there. They both kind of hang out covering one guy, and there's just enough room for Shea Patterson to get the ball thrown over. John Hamler will have a chance. KJ Hamler from the six. Good job of the Wolverines cover team. They fly down there and hit Hamler at the 22. Typical self in this game. And takes off wearing that knee brace. And there he 25%. The last four games and just no chance. Instant pressure. Uche and Winovich. Side, he's going to move around like this. And this is just speed by Winovich on the outside. But the communication up front's being challenged. The left side, you can see the twist affected them. State. It's a good boot. Gillikin drives it. And Peoples Jones has a crease. Slips a tackle and is knocked out deep in Penn State territory. Wolverines crowding the line. They bring pressure. And McSorley will be knocked down again. Oh, and Hudson walk up late. Affects the offensive line's communication. Winovich is a factor. Gary, welcome back. He gets in there, but eventually it's Glasgow. With the that spearing the football. On third and six, Patterson keeps it and gets a first down. He's, he's going to read Simmons. Simmons is going to automatically make the quarterback keep it, but 
Penn State needs somebody to account for Shea Patterson. So the defensive ends the read, he takes away the, court, the running back, but there's nobody there to account. Season. Forcing punts on third down. And another first down. Higdon off and running and is spun down inside the Penn State 40. Ball, tight end, McCune goes in motion. It takes Reed with him. When it takes Reed with him, it opens up a nice crease on that left side, and they were able to hit it. The offensive line on that left side typically is hat on a hat. The game on third and seven. Penn State shows pressure and brings it up the middle. And they get it out, and Evans has got space. Evans against Scott, and he'll be run out of bounds at the 11-yard line. Chris, watch him right here, but watch the wall that's created and the pick that's created by the two receivers. Seven's trying to get out there. Boom, the pick is there. No one's out there. 13 play coming up. And Patterson tosses touchdown Gentry. That compliments this offense going here. He's going to show it. Linebackers are going to come up. And then right here, the tight end's going to sneak in right behind those aggressive linebackers that don't want Higdon to pick up yards. They start to chase Higdon. Look at that throwing lane right behind it. Levin's up, 36 is up, nobody's back there to account for the big tight end. Stevens looking to throw against the four-man rush, will now take off, and then flips it right into the hands of Brendan Watson. Watson headed down the sidelines, still going, Wolverines pick six. Pick six, Kirk. This is the fourth for Michigan this year. Yeah, and, and I'm not sure where Stevens wants to go with the ball. He kind of throws it between two wide receivers right to Watson, who's one of the better uh, coverage guys on this defense. They're going to try to maybe take a peek to see if that right foot stayed in bounds. Good drives Peoples Jones back to the 21. Gets a couple blocks. And Donovan Peoples Jones still weaving his way through Penn State's coverage team. And the fact that that foot has healed. And now Evans breaks free into the secondary. Evans with a stiff arm gets the corner, weaves his way down into the red zone. In this fourth quarter, and it's Penn State defense. They've been out there, they've been asked to play a lot these last four weeks. A couple missed tackles. Evans, to me, is a great change of pace when it comes in motion. They fake it to him. Patterson stutter steps. Patterson hammers down first and goal, Michigan. Watch how efficient he is. Watch how Scott Four has him right there. I mean, you're, you're not looking at Shea Patterson, who's just a guy that once in a while is going to pull the ball and maybe pick up six or seven yards. You're looking at a quarterback that's gaining confidence each, each week in this system. Out of the formation, Higdon at tailback. Second and goal. Higdon's got it. And Fighting, reaching, touchdown! They, they put three tight ends in those last two or three plays and kind of went with a lot of different formations. That As Moody drives the kick to Hamler at the five. And he'll be knocked down short of the 20. And delivers. Intercepted off the deflection. And the Wolverines are run out inside the 20 yard line. David Long. Bowers is open. Watch the location of the ball high off of his hands, high and behind. And when you're high and behind on an outcut, there's a chance that the ball is going to go up into the air. It's up, but I like, I like saying, what you're thinking. I'm just saying, wouldn't that be a matchup? McCaffrey keeps it, and the big fella banged out. It'll be. Close to the goal line. Evans behind Mason. Touchdown. The lead is six scores for Harbaugh's crew. Stevens is out there. I share my admiration for the Nittany Lions quarterback. Not if the Wolverines can help it. Play action. Stevens is chased and sacked. Kalik. Hudson he disguising it and then he just sneaks in again the pressure the edge pressure too much for this Penn State offensive line 42 7 
Michigan takes a step closer to a Big Ten title and perhaps a playoff bid.